Hello everybody! Happy Sunday for all of you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited because I am doing a collaboration with another influencer and his name is... Dominic. Hi guys, nice to meet you. I'm actually not used to speak English because I'm doing all my content in, in Spanish and I've been here for a little bit more for two days now in Miami and there are a lot of Latin people so I'm just speaking Spanish all day. So right now I, I think I need like about Practice. five minutes, about five minutes to get back to my English fluent skills. Well, that I he's before, practicing so. with me, but you know so what, practicing. guys? Uh, he's very loved in my country, Colombia. He's a traveler influencer in Colombia. What happened with my English? He's a traveler influencer in Colombia, and I'm gonna show him a little bit of the Latin culture right here in Miami, and we are gonna start right here with some Colombian food. Listo? <laughs> oh, another thing, he speaks perfect Spanish. A ver, hablanos en español un poquito. No, pues el tal? español más fácil porque ya se acostumbrado a hablar español Ay, todo el tiempo. Ay, pero qué acento que... más lindo. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're gonna continue the video. I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. But first, Colombian food in this amazing restaurant. See you in a little bit. This is what it's like to be with a famous influencer, guys. <laughs> okay, Dominic, pay attention. Are you ready for the next stop? I'm ready to ride. <laughs> to ride what? <laughs> the horse? <laughs> well, you are going to be surprised because Calle Ocho is full of hands everywhere. So, okay, just let's go to the next stop. I'm gonna show you guys the next stop that we're gonna take with Dominic and I'm gonna show you if he likes what I'm gonna give him to try. So, we finally arrived to the Cortadito place. It is <laughs> his first time, right? For me, it's the first time. Yeah. It's his first time. <laughs> first time trying it? I don't know because it's Cuban and well, I'm living in Colombia, so. It, let's see. How's it like? Let's see how it tastes for him. <laughs> Can we have one coladita and one cortadito? Ah, okay. Dame una coladita y un cortadito. <laughs> No, Dominic wanted to practice his English, but unfortunately in Miami nobody speaks English. Okay, Dominic, this is what it is. I have to practice my English. This is the moment of truth. So we have the cortadito and the coladita. Dominic. Tasting, tasting. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. A lot of sugar. And but compared I like it. to <laughs> Colombian coffee. Yeah. Actually, in Colombia, also they they add a lot of sugar, but I, I prefer to uh, take a coffee without sugar. That's oh, really? really? Nice. Yeah. Wow. I love sugar. So that's the coladita. Now we're but gonna it's good, have it's good. the good, good uh, coffee taste. Cortadito. And that's and the one with milk. What's the name? Cortadito. Cortadito. El cortadito, el cortadito cubano. Vamos a ver qué tal. Bueno, yo creo que por la cantidad, bueno, I think uh, because of the of the amount, just a little bit more. Compare these two. Um, well, it has the same amount of sugar, but like it's more liquid, so it's not that sweet. So I like this one more. So the you coffee, like the cortadito. Just the coffee taste. The coffee taste is really, really good. It's so Cuban come here coffee. and try. It. <laughs> But you know what? I still love my Colombian coffee. Colombian coffee is number one. I just want Dominic to try a little bit of the Latin culture that we do have here in Miami. And coffee is one of the main ones here. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna go to the next spot, which is gonna be really cool too. We just arrived to our third stop right here at the Domino Park. Dominic, do you know how to play Domino? I do. 
<laughs> you did? Where did you learn? In Colombia? Uh, in Germany. Oh, Germany, really? I you guys play play I think it's big time. It's in all parts of the world that play Domino. I, I do know how to play, but, but not, not that much. Like, not that much. It's not I, like the people in Germany are sitting outside in the parks and playing Domino. Yeah. They're playing more carts. For other games too, uh, Domino is not that popular, but anyways, they play. But uh, I, I think right here they're very serious about this game. Yeah, yeah it's more, more serious. Yeah. Like Germany is just like a family game. Yes. You play sometimes on Christmas, maybe. They see if they let us play here, some of them. I don't think so. They look very serious, and I see money on the table, so I think they're even gambling. But okay, this is our first stop. Not That's much, it. but it's very, very famous right here in Miami, and this is very typical from Cuba. It's part of the Latin American culture. Too. Maybe we can play around <laughs> to lose money. <laughs> Well, I was showing Dominique some Latin flavor in Miami, and look what we found. He's taking his lunch. We found a cute pork. Chucha. Chucha? So Chucha. his name is Chucha. Es hembra. Okay, so. Okay, Dominic, this is your tour to Miami. It's a pig, yeah. That's my Miami tour. You know, everything is uh, modern, innovation, <laughs> city. Well, that's the other side of Miami, you know, the innovation, the modern buildings, that's the other side. But today for this video, we decided to focus on the Latin culture in Miami. And here in Calle Ocho, you see a lot of these chickens and hens. We are at the heart of Calle Ocho, and believe it or not, you can still find roosters all over Brickle and Calle Ocho too. Little Havana is Miami's Cuban heart with Latin American art galleries and busy restaurants. Cafes with walk-up windows sell Cuban coffee like the one I just showed you with my friends. Something about Calle Ocho and Gallos. In every single corner I find a gallo. And this is my last tip for Dominic. Right here in Miami, the parking spots are very, very expensive. And this is something that I always tell my friends to do, to park in the residential zones because they're free. But pay attention to the signs because many times the residential zone parking area is only between 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you don't read well, you might get a ticket or your car might be towed. So, Dominique, what do you think about the prices of the parking lots here? Well, if you pay, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't pay, it's fine. Uh, the good thing is that next to tourist destinations, well, most of them, you can actually find residential zones right next to them. So you can just leave your car there and you're fine because it's secure, it's safe. And uh, well, you just walk a little bit. And you I'm sure you're walk, super happy that walks. I gave you this tip, right? Yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> because you save a lot of money and so it really, it's, it's worth the pain, walk two blocks. Well, I'm <laughs> glad I was able to help. <laughs> <laughs> well guys this is the end of my episode if you guys enjoyed this video or learned something about this video please subscribe to my channel click the notification button and if you happen to be in Colombia please contact my friend Dominique 
he has tours only in Santander, right? Yeah, we have a tour company in Santander. So if you want to get to know Bucaramanga and mm -hmm. surroundings, make a tour in Bucaramanga, uh, contact us. Actually, and if you need... I won. Oh yeah, also. also merch. Everything down there. Everything Merchandise. <laughs> but I do want to get to know uh, Santander. I haven't been there. Can you believe that? Okay, so... You have to come. It's a really nice place. This Colombian guy, I mean, he's not Colombian. He's from Germany, but he just, knows more of my me, country me than me. <laughs> well, anyhow, thank you so much for watching and I see you next Sunday. Ciao, ciao. See you guys.